used car market crash. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Admittedly, there has been a ton of content appearing on YouTube in 2022 titled, The Bubble is Bursting, or Car Prices Crash. Those videos would get five Pinocchios if fact checkers were actually on it. <laughs> well, what has been missing from all of those reports, Liz? Well, for most of the months in 2022, inventory growth, which is the most reliable predictor of pricing, just wasn't there. Car inventory growth had stagnated and so were prices. The creators of that kind of content knew that and they didn't care or they were complete idiots. I'm not sure which one it is. Liz hits the nail on the head as long as the supply and demand curve involving new cars and how it impacted used car prices was not being fixed. None of the data really mattered. Yeah. Every intelligent person knows that the supply demand curve rules supreme when it comes to markets and pricing. Well, the car inventory problem is headed in the right direction. As we just covered in this video days ago, car inventory at 1.61 million and used car market crash projected. If you missed it, go back and see it. You'll understand our prediction for how the car inventory should hit 1.9 million by March and how it is likely to hit 2.19 million by June. Those kind of numbers will effectively drive car prices down across all markets. Yep. Yes, a few foolish dealers will remain behind and they won't make adjustments and they'll go bankrupt. Yep. MSRP of all these new cars coming into inventory won't necessarily go down, but manufacturer rebates, dealer incentives, and dealer cash, once a big part of new car sales, will return in significant numbers. Interestingly, other factors are at work right now too, and those factors have been building up and are contributing to the coming big drop in used car prices. Here's a perfect analogy of where the car market is right now. If you saw a steaming pot of water on the stove, would you reasonably believe that it was going to boil, even if it wasn't boiling right at that moment? Of course you would. Right now, several factors are contributing to the boiling pot called the car market crash, and this pot will most certainly boil over. We mentioned in previous broadcasts that one of the used car sellers to watch was CarMax. Why? Because they are the biggest sellers of used cars in America, and what happens to them is a great indicator of what's going on in the broader car market. In their Q3 report, CarMax's unit sales declined 22.4% from the prior year's third quarter. That spells big trouble brewing in the car market. Anyone with half a brain should be paying attention to what CarMax CEO Bill Nash is saying right now. He recently provided a worthy perspective on the used car market when he said on the December 22nd Q3 earnings call, what you'll see going forward is your retail average selling prices coming down a lot more than what you've seen up to this point. Mm -hmm. Then on December 27th, he made headlines again saying, used car prices are too high. We totally agree with Bill Nash. Right from the horse's mouth. Here's a few significant highlights from the CarMax Q3 report. Net revenues of $6.5 billion down 23.7% compared with the prior year third quarter. That's a backpedal of $1.5 billion. Ton of bucks. Total used unit sales were down 22.4%. Margin management delivered a gross profit per retail used unit of $2,237. Remember that number because we'll reference it later. What's good enough for CarMax is most definitely good enough for others. Total wholesale units sold decreased by 36.7%. Both volume and margins were impacted by steep market depreciation. In early September, CarMax Inc. laid off more than 600 employees, or about 4% of its total workforce, as the auto retailer tried to cut costs, seeing big declines in car and truck sales. CarMax bought just 238,000 vehicles from consumers and dealers, down 39.8% versus last year's record quarter three due to steep market depreciation. There's that phrase again, steep market depreciation. It's coming, folks. The pot is set to boil over, and we have some current real-life examples of this coming up. The last highlight that Liz mentioned at CarMax is very significant because not only have used car purchases by CarMax been down overall, but their CEO announced that they would be pulling all advertising to buy cars from consumers. Think about something. Why would the largest used car seller in America stop purchasing from their customers? because we are right in the beginning of a major correction in used car prices and they know it. That is the only answer and they don't want to get stuck with any more inventory at inflated numbers. Totally. We have a prediction on how long it's going to take for that pot to boil over coming up. Besides the Fed raising interest rates and slowing traffic at dealers, there are other factors pushing used car prices down. Tons of high paying job cuts and big tech have been hit the hardest. According to layoffs.fyi, 
1,020 tech companies around the world have laid off 153,937 tech workers in 2022. Adding to those figures, they are already showing in January 2023 that 28 tech companies have cut another 17,904 jobs. Meta, which is Facebook, cut 11,000 jobs. And then Amazon joined the layoff action with 10,000 in November cut from the company's devices organization, retail division, and human resources. There's nothing like the loss of a job to take a potential buyer out of the market. Hmm? Ain't that the truth? Yeah. It was all of these factors that contributed to Bill Nash saying on his Q3 earnings call, what you'll see going forward is your retail average selling prices coming down a lot more than what you've seen up to this point. He later added, we saw competitors lowering prices and margins to move inventory. The competitors he's referring to most specifically is Carvana, a company known for having high prices, yet they came down too. Great words of wisdom from Bill Nash, but I can tell you that he is responding in part to awareness that consumer participation in the car business has slowed way down and affordability has been hit very hard. Very Interestingly, hard. affordability will only get hit harder. And part of the reason is, is the Fed will continue to raise interest rates so long as this crazy inflation exists. They really have no other strategy and more job cuts are expected in the days ahead too. CarMax, the biggest used car retailer, is leading the way by telling the entire used car industry that prices are way too high and affordability can only be handled by dealers dropping prices down. Amen. We believe vehicle affordability challenges continue to impact CarMax's sales performance as headwinds remain due to widespread inflationary pressures, climbing interest rates, and low consumer confidence. And I might add, YouTube channels like ours advising consumers to sit out of the car market. It's working, folks. By being patient, you have helped bring about a correction in the car market. We've done it together. Go ahead. Pat yourselves on the back. More news that demonstrates dealers and manufacturers are starting to grovel for customers. Less than a year after launching the Ford Blue Advantage used vehicle digital marketplace, Ford Motor Company plans to enhance the platform by offering a 14-day, 1,000-mile money-back guarantee. A 14-day money-back guarantee? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Why is Ford doing this? The automaker is betting that Ford Blue Advantage will help its retailers win a larger slice of the used vehicle sales pie and stop defections to third-party sites such as Carvana and Carax. They are fighting over you car buyers now, and this fight is a good thing for you. So what does all this news mean for where the used car market is headed? We strongly believe a crash is coming. New car inventory is finally getting to where a used car price slide is supported. So if you're in the used car market, hold on to your money for another 30 to 60 days. Definitely hold on to your money. Yep. Big price breaks lie just ahead. Over the next 30, 60 to 90 days, we strongly believe a huge correction is coming. As many of you know, we've been providing black book car values for viewers, and we've been stunned to see this all over the country. Used car prices are unexpectedly low in many cases. For example, just a short time ago at the peak of the market, dealers were expecting to get extra clean retail book values yeah. for their cars. Like for this 2020 Honda Accord with 21,180 miles on it, they would have been asking 35,150 for it. But right now this dealer has it marked at 29,995, which is already $5,155 less. However, we advise against paying that number too, since the average trade-in is 27,920 bucks, which nobody really no. ever gets. And so let's assume they got 27,000 instead, and then add the $2,237 that CarMax reported making on their cars, and you have an attractive offer of 29,237. And it's more than fair for both parties. Then you say to the dealer, offer is good for today only. <laughs> You've heard that from them. Sure, they might say, no way, and let you walk out. But in 30 to 60 days, as the market keeps sliding down, they'll be begging you to come back. And by that time, the true market price may be down around the rough retail number of 27900 Yeah, They could well be selling that vehicle near a loss, and it serves them right. Don't forget your today-only offer. When they call you back, you say, my offer of 29237 was good for that day only. Now, it's this many days later and I'm down to 27,900. <laughs> I love it. Rough retail is where used car prices are headed over the next 90 days. Hold your ground, you'll get it. Now here's another vehicle and a great example of the lower range rough retail price that Kevin mentioned. It's already happening in this case. The lowest dealer retail number rough retail for this truck in Black Book is 46,100. The dealer has it priced at 46,999, so not too bad. 
quite good actually, but at the peak of the used car market, dealers were asking for and getting extra clean retail numbers, which on this truck would have been $61,075. Average dealer retail was $50,325. That is a gap from where prices were to where this truck is priced now of more than $14,000. That said, we definitely believe this truck can be had for $46,100, the rough retail number. There are tons of rough retail number deals out there right now. So why not give this dealer a push and save yourself another $899? If you look at the trade in numbers, you see the average trade is 47,590. Dealers always shoot for a number below this. So it's possible they paid $46,000 for it. This is one case where if the dealer said we are losing money, it might actually be believable to that. We say, oh, well, after the past two years, dealers deserve losses. <laughs> we also like that the banner on this dealer's website says no gimmicks, no tricks, no documentation fees. That's a good sign, folks. When dealers start calling out other dealers for pulling gimmicks and tricks, you know it's happening out there. And this dealer has no doc fee? Whoa. Tells you how much nonsense the doc fee is at other dealers, right? Yeah. I can promise you folks, we are seeing more and more used car deals just like this, and the gimmicks and tricks are being cast aside by the smarter dealers seeing the writing on the wall. And yet, there is so much more to come. Book values will continue to adjust as market selling prices tumble down. And because we are booking out cars every day right now, we'll keep you up to date on this as the market continues to adjust. But there's a warning here. Even if you get lucky enough to get numbers like this scenario we just laid out, you might still have to be vigilant against the dealers who are trying to pack on the fees and add-ons. See our video, 11 Fake Fees, and check out our fees download on our website. And by the way, if you like how we laid out these vehicle examples, Liz has been sending book values just like this to viewers and helping them negotiate their car deals. There's no need to be a sitting duck at a dealership. Yep. We can help you too. And we are delighted to say that dealers are definitely beginning to cave in. If you happen to be shopping at a dealer sticking to a price that is just too high, leave that dealer. They will regret their unwise decision soon enough as prices collapse even further. To restate what Liz said earlier, over the next 30, 60 to 90 days, we strongly believe a huge correction is coming. If you don't like the prices you're seeing, check back in 30 days. The market will be moving rapidly downward over the next quarter. It sure will. If you happen to miss our show, car inventory at 1.61 million and used car market crash projected, make sure you go back and watch it. You should also check out our playlist, THG's Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session. And then, could I ask you to do us a favor? If you're on Facebook, could you visit our page, leave us a comment and a review, and share what you've learned from the Homework Guide channel? Could you do that for me? Also, think about stopping by our website, thehomeworkguide.com. The free car buyer's guide is there and so much more that you'll just have to go check it out for yourself. Nobody on YouTube does more to provide free help and advocate for car buyers than we do. We're going on 14 years here on YouTube, folks. It's been an unbelievable journey for us. By the way, check out the new Homework Guy merch below the video and get suited up to help get the word out. And if you'd like to show some gratitude for producing great videos like this one for you, the links for tips appearing in the screen will be easy to find in the description box below. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Our tip system was suggested by our viewing audience. Generous people asked for a way to donate to support our mission. We offered PayPal at first, and then viewers requested that we also get Cash App and Venmo because they are popular forms of payment. We like it too because voluntary tips provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do, and apparently it's a lot because a lot of tips have been coming in. And if you haven't noticed, we have been busy converting your tips into more free services for our viewers. If a tip isn't an option for you, no problem. Show your thanks by recommending our videos to your family and friends. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. Any viewer who has contacted us would tell you that you don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on a paid car club membership. Just send us a text at 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be in touch with you. By the way, there's no problem with you contacting us months before you're going to buy. We can get you totally prepared in that time frame. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guide channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We thank you for subscribing and welcome you to our family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Once again, we're still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.